Disaster Readiness and Rest Reduction, which is all about the potential volcano-related hazards. So this will be for the third quarter topic and module number five. Volcanic eruptions can have drastic impact in our lives. They can affect the property we own, the land we live in, the water we drink, and even the air we breathe. In serious cases, people may have to leave their homes and move to safe areas. The following are some of the volcano hazards and its impacts in the Philippine setting. One of the volcano hazard is the pyroclastic flow and surges. These are hot, fast-moving mixtures of ash, rock, fragments, and gas flow from a collapse eruption column or a lava doom travel down to the valleys and cause total devastation of the area over which they flow. On the other hand, Pyroclastic surges from in a similar way to pyroclastic flows, but their effects are more widespread since they are also swept across ridges and hills, as well as down valleys. A hot pyroclastic surge can cause death from suffocation, inhalation of poisonous gases, and severe damages. The following are the impacts of pyroclastic flows and surges in Hibuk-Hibuk Volcano, Kamigan Island, last December 1951, in which 500 deaths because of the pyroclastic flows. Another one is the impact of pyroclastic flows and surges in Taal Volcano eruption last 1911, in which 300 deaths from the bay surges. Another volcano hazard is the ballistic projectiles. Ballistic projectiles are rock that an erupting volcano may hurl into the air. These blocks and bombs travel like a cannonballs and usually land within 2 km of the vent, but can travel as far as 5 km or even further if the eruption is very explosive. Another volcano hazard is lava flows. This consists of molten rocks that stream down the slope of a volcano, destroying everything in its path and possibly causing forest fires, typically of the Hawaiian volcanoes. As the volcano emits lava, it accumulates around the vent, thereby creating a lava dome. These lava domes are often unstable and eventually, they collapse and lead to pyroclastic flows. The <laughs>
Another volcano hazard is lahars or mud flows. These are mixtures of volcanic water and rock fragments which rush down the slopes of a volcano and into surrounding valleys. The word lahar is an Indonesian term that describes a mud flow often triggered by heavy rains or earthquakes during and after a volcanic eruption. Another volcano hazard is volcanic gases. Gases such as sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide are present in toxic amounts close to the vents of an erupting volcano and may be present close to hot springs around any leaf volcano. Further away from the vent, they can become dissolved in atmospheric clouds to produce acid rain and mist which affect human and animal eyes and respiratory systems and corrode metal building materials. One of the most common volcanic gases is carbon dioxide, which is not poisonous but nevertheless it is extremely dangerous. It is heavier than air and tends to accumulate in hollow in the ground, displacing the breathable air. Since it is invisible and has no taste or smell, people and animals are unable to notice that it is there.